Good morning, friends, wherever you may be. Um, we're here in Oklahoma. Um, it's a little bit cloudy today. It's supposed to rain. But um, anyway, I'm going to make some SOS today. And I'm going to use this shelf stable milk that I had that I bought. Um, I'm, I just realized that I'm out of milk and I try to avoid going to the store at all costs. But uh, this is why I kind of keep things on hand. This is a quart of whole milk. And I think I paid a dollar for it. So anyway, let's get started. I always start with two tablespoons approximately of bacon grease that I keep in the refrigerator. I know back in the day, I believe, you know, they just left it on the counter. And I'm sure they, you know, they use sausage grease, bacon grease, what have you. But I'll let that melt, and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Okay, so I melted that on medium heat. It's melted. We're going to add the flour. I add about two tablespoons of flour, equal amounts of grease and flour. I might add a tad more flour here. We'll whisk that in. I always try to try not to put too much flour in there because it's easier to add more flour than it is to add more bacon grease, right? So that looks pretty good. Now I've turned it down to low. My stove is pretty, gets pretty hot. My burner does. this milk and see how it goes. The name of the game with gravy is stir, stir, stir. It's looking good so far. I've made this with powdered sugar when I was out of milk. I haven't made it with this carton style milk, but you know, it's always good to be prepared. It's always good to have things on the shelf for emergencies. I was always taught to buy toilet paper whether you need it or not if you're at the store. That sounds funny, but you know, if you have an extra dollar, buy an extra can of peas. And it'll add up, really, before you know it. You'll have a pantry full of canned goods. It's just always a good idea to have things on your shelf for emergencies. I don't know about you, but I've always loved SOS. Mommy used to make it. I mean, we used to eat it for dinner. Now I have that on low heat. I'm going to crank it up just a little bit to medium. See? Get it to thicken up a little bit. So this is when I add in my salt and pepper. I think a lot of people add it, you know, when they put the flour in maybe and stir it with their grease, I've seen that. But this works for me and, um, you know, just salt and pepper to your taste. Go with about that much there. We can always add more if you need it. So that's thickening it up pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Okay, I'm about to add my dried beef, which will be the chip beef in your gravy. And you can cut it, slice it, however you want to dice it to put into your gravy. The best part about using this dried beef is you get a little juice cup afterwards. I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on low. And we'll just stir this in. Looking good. Now I've added almost that whole quart of milk. I just kind of add it as I go along. 
um, I added that chip beef in there and it seemed a little thick. I just added a little bit more milk to it. Like I said, I have probably have about oh, a few tablespoons left of that milk. I might add it in there. Once I turn it off and it sits for a minute, it'll probably thicken up some more and I can add the last three tablespoons in there to freshen it. I say that because husband's outside mowing and it'll sit here probably for a minute before he gets a plate. So, anyway, that's almost a whole quart of milk there. Two tablespoons of bacon grease or whatever you choose to use. Shortening, I'm sure you can use butter. And then two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Whisk that together. Start adding your milk and keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Add your salt and pepper. And then your dried beef, also known as chip beef. And that makes your SOS. I've got the toast over there toasting. It's going to be good. So good, y'all. Um, everybody's eating but me. Everybody said it was excellent. That shelf-stable milk tastes just the same, you know, if not better than regular refrigerated whole milk. I hope you guys try this, and I hope that you keep your shelves somewhat stocked as much as possible. Uh, you know, for just in case of emergency, um, or you just can't get to the store. We live quite a ways away from the store. And uh, so just try to keep things on hand if you can. It sure is worth it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you subscribe. Have a good day.